my shirt. Alex, I was going to get out. Oh, look who you ready to come. Good morning. Why don't you take him to Theo Ricky since he's going to babysit him? Hello. Bertha, go wake up, Eileen. Let's go, Eileen. It's your birthday weekend. Woo, 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 woo. That's the birthday call. So today we finally leave to Cabo, and I'm super excited. I've literally been waiting for this for my whole life, for my whole 18 years of living. I'm expecting to get a lot of laughs, a lot of cries, and a lot of drinks out of this trip. Let's give it a test. She's gonna go buy some tequila. Oh my god. Oh my, you get to see the shot. The second I got off the plane and stepped two feet into Mexico, I bought my first bottle. Even though I'm not gonna drink it, I just thought it would be cool to get the bottle of tequila for my family, so. My Teova just got here. Now we feel complete and now we're ready to like make the best of this trip. I am not having any of my friends on this trip. We're just gonna have my tia Lili, my mom, my Maluli, and my tia Bertha and my tia Ova. If I can describe my sisters, I can definitely say that Bertha is the mama bee, the one that keeps everyone on check, the one that doesn't give a F about anything. And then Uva, she's the more level-headed, she's the businesswoman. She is a boss as well, and she's not afraid of anything. And my Maluli, she's the ringleader of the family. My mom loves to see all her daughters, and she was super happy to see Uba. The little circle just, just connects. Okay, we're ready. Let's get this party started. Ooh, sister, you did a good job. <laughs> so Bertha is our mama bee, and she came up with the idea for us to wear the same shirts. We literally wanted to just wear the shirts walking out of the airport, like, you know what? What happens in Kabul stays in Kabul type of thing, and yeah, we walked in like bad bitches. All right, let's go. Okay. Come on, let's go yeah. there. It's definitely very rare to get all of us together, so we're definitely looking forward to this. So we just got on the, what is it? Should I? And uh, the madness has just begun. Woo! Okay. Woo! That's the whole call. <laughs> my favorite thing to do is like hang out with all my tias and my mom and my grandma. Cause this is like non-stop laughter. Like we just always think of something dumb and it's just like, we're always laughing. It's never a dull moment with them. When we got to the resort, it just seemed so unbelievable. Just like walking in with all of my sisters is something we envisioned a long time ago. We put it out in the universe that we were someday gonna take a family trip and it was just gonna be a girl's trip. And to make that become a reality and be there, like I just was just so full of like happiness. It's cute so far, I love it. It was so cute. It just seemed so chill. Like, it was super pretty. Sisters trip! <laughs> How beautiful is that, sisters? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Me too. I felt so, like, blessed to even be there at such a beautiful place. Like, being able to, like, go there and spend my weekend there. God, I can't believe it, guys. Eileen, what an epic 18th birthday. Once we were at the casita, I was like so impressed and so shook because this is like traditional Mexican homes look like. I was just so excited and we were definitely ready to come in and just check out the place. Okay, uh, let's go in. Go! <gasps> yeah. Oh! I 
love it. We're so blessed, you guys. Yeah. As we're walking into the house, we were clearly so like happy. Like we we're just so excited. Like the house was beautiful. We've never really experienced something like that where we just like walk into this house and we're like, oh shoot, like this is ours for like the weekend. Like we get to stay here. Like it was just so dreamy and so pretty that we were just so excited to be there. <gasps> we have a private pool. Wait, what? Is this even real? Oh my god, guys, look at this. Oh, look at this. And not. Look at my mom. Look at my mom having her moments. My grandma got like in her feelings because the accomplishments that like we've made to get to that point and being in Cabo and being able to spend it together, I think she was just really proud. I'm so happy. This is so cute. This is so You brought up this one? Sister. Yes. All our free work. All our free work. Is paid off. And I can I can drink it. Woo! That's what my extraness got us. I just feel like my mom knows that we work really hard and I think that the moment that she realized like my daughters like they're doing something you know they're working hard and they're they're making things happen and we're making our dreams happen like it just felt so good to see my mom be so proud of me and my daughter and and Lily and everyone that works so hard towards this Okay, Aileen, so let me explain to you what this is. This is an adult drink. A grown woman drink. A grown woman drink. I'm just gonna have more of the, this juice. Okay, we'll just get more juice in. All right, all right. You're not ready to drink. We got a toast. To a great weekend. To a great weekend. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> so what are you guys wearing this weekend? Well, I brought a bunch of stuff. Well, I suggest <laughs> when we go to the boat ride, everybody wears bathing suits. Girl, what the? <laughs> No. Like all Nothing. day long? Is that a joke? No, at the, what? No, at the girl. Boat. Like suits no, I really Yes. Ah, come on, Aileen, you're like the tiniest one here. Uh, no, I just don't feel comfortable wearing that again. Bathing suit. I purposely took one piece bathing suits to Cabo for the reason that I just didn't want to wear two pieces and show more of my body. Sister, you know, um, I was gonna, I've been meaning to ask you, I saw your post on Instagram. So a few weeks ago, I posted a picture of me when I was about Eileen's age and how skinny I used to be. I posted it because I know that Eileen had got some backlash or some messages on a post of a photo shoot she did and people were calling her fat. And I know that it really took a toll on Eileen and I didn't know how to help her. And the only way that I felt like I can help her, like kind of defend her and protect her is posting something like, hey, your body changes. Like you, you're not gonna be the same weight the rest of your life. Recently, a lot of people have been saying stuff about my weight. I think people look at my 14 year old self and compare me to now. You and obviously, ob yeah, but obviously like, it, you could clearly tell that I've gained weight. I've been getting so much body shaming like towards me. I'm gonna admit it did get to me and I let it get to me. What were the kind of things that they were saying to you? People were coming like directly to me like in my DMs. Wow. Like, I did a photo shoot and like people were like, oh, she looks chubby or whatever. And they, and some girl texted me and said, oh, like your, your boyfriend like helped you gain weight or something like that. But like something very low key, but like you were, she was still saying it like. Like she was trying to be nice, but yeah, like but really it was like jabbing. Like, yeah. So I, I po like I posted that and I was like, this isn't a compliment, like leave me alone. But then from there, people were like, well, you have gained weight, like, or like. And it's like, okay, and I'm not 15 no more. Exactly. I mean, when she started MBQ, she was only 14 years old and she was less than a hundred pounds. And obviously right now she's already 18 and her body changes and it's just a matter of accepting because we've all been through that. That's the problem with the world, mm -hmm. you know? We're, we're so judgmental. We, we feel that the way that we met you, the way that we seen you, that's the way that you're always gonna be. Yeah. Look at us, we're thick mamas, you know? I mean, you You're know, Mexican I, girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> Pero yes. mira, mira, mamacita, yo siempre les he dicho que las mujeres van por edades. Tú cuando cumpliste 15 años eras una niña. 
Y yo te dije, cuando cumplas 18 años, va, tu cuerpo va a cambiar. Cuando cumplas 20, tu cuerpo va a cambiar. Tu cuerpo va a ir cambiando honestly, de a poco a poco. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, Siempre I se mean, los he dicho. Me dijo I mean, que va a cambiar cuando cumpla 50 años. That's, what, I, that's crazy. Because sí, I was just verdad? about to tell you that. I'm 34 verdad? and literally every so often, like every couple years, I'm just like, why? Why? Yeah, Why is my body changing again? But embrace it. Who cares? Like I know. I, at first, it did get to me. I like already let it go, and I don't really care because if I, I was thinking like if I want to do something or want to change something, I want it to be my decision, not because someone else is telling me like go lose weight. I'm not gonna, you know. And so if like, you feel I'm comfortable like, and you're happy, then what everybody else thinks. Anytime I have an issue, hearing their input and support always helps at the end of the day because sometimes you just need that like someone to tell you, like, <laughs> and then you just you're like, you know what, you're right. Who cares? It's never like right. Oh, she's too skinny. She doesn't eat. She's or, too big. She eats too much. Or if you decide to get your body done, oh, she got her body done. Yeah, because you know, like, she's just, um, self uh, self conscious about herself. You just have to learn how to embrace your body at different stages. And this weekend we're eating everything and drinking oh because gosh. it's like who cares? It's about confidence, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's just about being yeah, confident just, in whatever body you're in. Yeah, and I just feel like people should like that train of um just like trying to freaking throw people down should like just that crash negativity? already. Like you just Seriously. yeah, people just need to like. Like, keep your and comments to yourself. Yeah. If you think that about someone, keep it to yourself. Exactly. It ain't mm -hmm. Why? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's just trolls, honestly. They're hating. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Whatever. That's all the time you get, haters. <laughs> yeah. Go <laughs> Cheers. 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 Be thick and loving it. Thick, beautiful, and confident. And confident. Thick bitches. Haters. I'm going to live it up this weekend. And just for that, I'm going to eat all weekend. So they can really call me fat. <laughs> I'm dead. I woke up at like 3.30 this morning. At 3.30 Eastern time. That's how it means so like midnight. midnight. It's all worth it though. I know, it's really nice here. Yeah. Like literally it was worth it. So it is our first night in Cabo and we decided to go dine out. In this beautiful restaurant that has the view to the ocean. So we're excited about that. I feel tipsy already guys. Do same. Do you? Yeah. Me too. I started drinking I don't want to champagne as soon as we got here. Are you drinking? Well, I'm actually legal. I'm 18 here, and that's legal, right? Mm -hmm. So you're 18, you're legal in Mexico, but you're an American. <laughs> that's what so technically, you can't be drinking here in Mexico. So, oh, actually, she's legal here. Uh, how, does that, how does that work? How much will Eileen be drinking? Honestly, I don't know, because technically here in Cabo, she's an adult. She's allowed to drink, so I don't know. It's not like I'm with like some randoms, like I'm with my family, they can take care of me. So Bibi Panko said, have a good time. You know, he loved the place. He said, hopefully, in the near future, we will be back. Yay! Yes. All of us? You guys wanna know what? This morning when I left, like Chris is so cute. He's like, I'll, I'll get the girls, you know, I'll take them to school and this and that. And this morning, he like, right outside the door, he just held me and he said, hold on, before you leave, I have to say a prayer. And then he like prayed for us and then he said, you know, that he hoped we had a lot of fun and that everything was just good. And he's just like, oh, so sweet. Aww. So anyway, he said a prayer for all of us to have a good time and be safe. And that's cute, but you guys didn't get the same <laughs> treatment before you guys left. You're making your plans however you want. And yet here I am like, okay, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, and now like you're piling everything on me. Now you're all mad at me because I'm asking you to take care of the kids. You didn't even think to ask me like, hey, do we have any plans? Do you have something planned for us? So, I don't know what to go from here, I mean. I thought you were gonna go out today. I was. Was it Ruben supposed to come and hang out with you or what? Yeah, but, um, we're like not together anymore. Well, Ricky seemed like he was cool this morning, but I know Rick. Rick, mm -hmm. he can be like very nice and, mm -hmm. and you know show you guys that he's cool. But last night it didn't go too well, and he's still like upset at me. Really? Yeah, it's because of it's because I, I think it was kind of my fault because I was playing a prank on him, and it just kind of escalated, and it just went all over the place. I think I just took it too far. 
I think my attitude towards him just kind of like pushed him to a limit and he ended up getting upset at me and he just I see Funko calling Bertha and I'm just like waiting for my phone call like oh, I'm being serious well Chris I hasn't called me because and yours is praying for you and mine's just like <laughs> So he's been very dry with me. Like Ricky has been very dry. I did tell him I'm on the plane, I'm home, I'm here, whatever. And he's just very short with his text messages, which is kind of annoying because I see everyone like FaceTiming their booze or their husbands or whatever, and I'm not getting any of that. I'm just annoyed right now. Que yo quiero que una de ustedes, ahorita que estamos juntas, demos una oración como familia y como las mujeres que somos de nuestra casa de cada una de ustedes. Okay, since Berta is the mama bee, she, she gets to say She is the it. mama bee, okay. Well, when Mundo's here when yeah. with us, he's the one that always says hey. So en su nombre, because he's not here, we're gonna say what he usually says. Thank you, Lord, for the meal that we have today. Thank you, Lord, for the moments, the memories, and the family time. Even though all of them are not with us, but they are with us in spirit. And may this food be blessed, may our trip be blessed, and may our lives continue to be blessed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is important for us to pray before we have dinner, especially when we're all together. It's like, it's meaningful and just appreciating the moment. You know how much you mean to me? Yes. My 18-year-old forever best friend. <laughs> and you never judge, like I never judge you. And I just want to say, I'm so glad your mom had you. <laughs> like, you're literally everything to me. You mean the world to me. Like, a little sister that I never had, but I'm glad I have you. The coolest little baddest bitch niece ever. Oh, yes. She literally became part of the sister crew. Yes, yeah. you're part of the sister crew now. I'm so glad I wasn't at the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to say, from feeding you to cheering with you and drinking with you from here on out. Yeah. So, Cheers. happy 18th birthday. Cheers. Happy 18th birthday. Cheers. Happy 18th birthday. Cheers. Happy 18th birthday. <laughs> to many more. To many more. It's been tough for her to see me grow up because she's like, it's actually hitting her that like I'm 18. She's so used to seeing me so small. Like she's had memories of me since I was a baby. Like. I feel like Lily does probably feel like an emptiness or a void when it comes to Eileen just maturing and taking more adult decisions. They're very close in age and she's always been around her and, and Lily has always babied Eileen in a way, but also sees that now as she gets older, she's turning into her own self and I feel like there is a little void somewhere in there. Eileen doesn't need us that much anymore. I think she kind of just realized that I'm okay and that she's done her job definitely. And now I feel like I'm good. Where are you going? Look at you, you look like you're all dressed up. I already told you that my, my, my friend is getting married. Okay, and what does that mean? Well, Where are you guys going? You did mention something about going to uh, an adult theme park. Uh, a strip joint? Uh, yeah, kind of. For more quince content, make sure to check out Austin's TV's new quinceanera channel. Click here to watch my new season.